welcome to another weekly grocery haul video. So this week I'm going to try and quickly get this done because I've got a fussy baby with me. So he's teething at the moment and not very happy so I might just have a few minutes to do this. I'm going to show you my um, weekly meal plan as well. So this week's meal plan, we've got Thursday night which is tonight, we're having tuna pasta bake. Friday night we're having nachos, Saturday night we're having sausages and salad, Sunday night we're having burgers, Monday night we're having Spanish baked eggs, Tuesday night we're having stir fry noodles and Wednesday night we're having a lentil salad which has got like bacon and feta and a few other veggies and stuff mixed in with lentils so yeah that's our meal plan for this week. So with the groceries I did end up spending a bit more than I wanted to this week trying to make it a cheap shop this week but um, I still ended up spending a bit more than I'd like to but um, it still came under my $200 budget so that's good but, um, yeah just not as cheap as I'd like to but I did end up buying quite a quite a fair bit and I got stuff um, on really good specials so I did end up saving in the long run so I ended up spending $194 so that's alright yeah still under our budget so I'll show you guys what I got so all this stuff on the table plus over on this bench. So I did get a fair amount of stuff. So I'll start over here. I got some carrots, bag of onions, um, some bananas. These ones are like three dollars a kg, and they're a bit bigger than these ones, which are like kitty bananas. And these are pre-packaged for two dollars fifty. So yeah, it kind of works out the same price anyway so then I just got a lemon and two capsicums I got a yellow and a red capsicum they were a dollar each which is quite a good special and I got some dates these are just the cheap dates and then pepitas pumpkin seeds some sunflower seeds um, these are unsalted roasted peanuts because um, the we used to buy the salted ones, but they are just like way too salty and quite gross really, so these ones are a bit healthier anyway. Then I got some cumin powder and rooibos tea. This is what I drink instead of black tea. I used to drink um, just normal tea, like English breakfast or whatever, but um, then that like the caffeine in that started affecting me really bad because I can't drink coffee either because I'm like really sensitive to caffeine so um, this rooibos tea is caffeine free so I use that with a bit of milk instead of um, normal tea so um, I find that to be a good replacement and it's a lot healthier and better for you and it's got a lot of health benefits as well so that's what I drink and then I drink um, I got some chamomile tea so that's meant to be really good if you're um, like suffering like a really suffering a bad night's sleep which I often do a lot of the time like makes you um, feel a bit better after not getting enough sleep so and it's really calming as well so yeah I like that in the morning sometimes this week I got some soy milk instead of the rice milk so Australian grown whole organic soybeans and yeah this has got a little bit of sugar in it but it's kind of like towards the end of the ingredients list so um, and like I normally just have a little bit of that in my cereal in the mornings, like in my muesli or in my tea. So yeah, I'm going to try the soy this week. And then I got this, this milk powder. They didn't have any of the budget brand milk powder that we normally buy. So this is like a dollar more, which is like $11. And it's a bit better quality anyway, apparently. So yeah, then I got some rice bubbles. These are just $3.00 for that and some cassava chips and these muesli bars it's very berry and apricot choc chip those were two for 350 which is a really good price so they're not very healthy but the kids have those in their lunch boxes so it's just a quick easy snack and then I got this New Zealand sparkling mineral water so I prefer like mineral water as opposed to soda water because soda water is just like carbonated water with bicarb soda in it which I don't think is as healthy as like natural mineral water so yeah I haven't tried this one before so hopefully it'll be good. What are you doing? 
you win. <laughs> At least you're happy now, eh? And then over on the table, I got some bacon. This is $5 for 400 grams. So that's like the cheapest bacon you can get for a good quality bacon. Um, so that's what we normally buy. And then some frozen blueberries and some feta. And a block of 70% old gold chocolate. And then I got some more eggs. Our chickens still aren't laying very much. Um, so yeah, and then butter. That was $2.80 a block, which is, that was on special as well. So um, normally it's around $3, so that's quite a good special. And then some soy and linseed bread. And they didn't have like the fresh baked loaves of bread that I normally buy for the kids, which are $2 each. So they only had these wheat meal. So I think they were around $2 as well, but they're not as fresh. I got these natural corn chips for our nachos. Um, I like those because they don't have anything, any additives or anything like that. And we just add our own like Himalayan salt to the packet and shake it up and makes it a bit saltier. So. Then I got this coconut sugar. Um, I got some Marmite this week and some different peanut butter than we normally buy. This one's a bit healthier because it's got no added salt or, sh or sugar. So, um, And I bought a smaller container because I think we eat way too much peanut butter. So yeah, I'll hopefully see how long that can last. I got some scouring pads just for our saucepans and stuff and then some nappies for Phoenix. And then I got um, these whole grain rice crackers, which we all love, and they're quite healthy. And I got these raisin, raisin boxes for the kids, so they love those in their lunch boxes. And so you get 14 in this packet, and that was about $3. So I found these, like I was looking for these for ages in the shops, and they don't have the, the English label on it, but... Um, these are soba noodles, um, just by looking at them and like what I used to buy in Australia, um, I used to buy these kind of soba noodles which are made with buckwheat flour, so it's a lot healthier than the wheat flour noodles. So we're going to use those in our um, stir fry noodles. I also bought these rice, rice stick noodles as well, so um, Jordan doesn't really like rice noodles as much, but um, yeah, the rest of us like them. So. We like to have those like for pad thai and stuff as well. And then I bought some canned beans. So I got cannellini beans and lentils and red kidney beans. So those were like four for six dollars. So they were quite good because Del Main's quite a good brand as well. So it was a good special. And then I got three cans of tomatoes, which were three for three dollars. Just um, crushed tomatoes. And then I bought this jar of passata and then a big sack of dog food that was $16 for three kgs. I got some biscuits for the kids, ginger nuts and super wine, which we had already opened in the shop and eaten half of. Um, yeah, they keep the kids happy, so that's a bit of saving grace. Uh, then I got some tuna, smoked tuna and sardines. Um, Jordan liked the ones that I gave in his work lunches the other week, So, but he said you definitely need some crackers or something with them because they're a bit much to have on their own. So I got this one in Louisiana hot sauce and this one's in spring water with no added salt. And then this one is in a, a mustard sauce. So he's only tried the spring water ones. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see what they're like. And what else? Yeah, and then I just got some tissues, some organic care shampoo. That's Blake yelling outside, being noisy. Um, yeah, some greaseproof paper. That's what I wrap the kids' lunches in because it's more um, biodegradable than the Glad Wrap. So I like to use that to wrap their sandwiches in. Then I got some washing powder that was three fifty on special, and some toilet paper, twelve pack that was three dollars twenty as well. So that's like the cheapest you can buy, and it's just toilet paper. So you know I don't 
like to splash out on things like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's our groceries for this week. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.